Props and Locks on Fox 10 is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Hey, welcome into Props and Locks presented by FanDuel. I'm Sierra Santos. The stage is set for Super Bowl 56 and the Rams are going to be hosting the Bengals on home turf and at a championship Sunday weekend. Uh, the team with the longest odds to make it to the big game will be making the trip to Los Angeles. So will our betting bestie Ben Stevens, host of the morning after on Sports Grid. And Ben, your initial reaction to Cincy making their first Super Bowl appearance since 1988. Sierra, I did not think it was possible. Could have since he covered that number last week against the Kansas City Chiefs. That was the thought entering the game. Could they cover a touchdown spread inside Arrowhead? They not only covered, they won that football game. But the Bengals don't want to be known as an underdog anymore, but they have been barking as a dog all year. Eight and three against the number in 11 games booked as an underdog. And in those eight covers, the Bengals have won seven outright it is what joe burrow and company do when you doubt them most they perform at their best so i guess it's not all that surprising they're in super bowl 56. okay so the line is out and the rams are four and a half point favorites minus 200 on the money line the over under is set at 48 and a half points so let's talk about it well the line has already worked in la's favor it opened late sunday night following both conference championships in the rams favor but at just three and a half points, which is a relatively lofty spread for a Super Bowl by the time you get to the final game of the NFL season. Now, now already at four and a half points in favor of LA in the total also down Sierra from an opener at 49 and a half. Now the over understands at 48 and a hook sharp money on the under early on for Super Bowl 56. So when it comes to MVP odds, it usually goes to a quarterback, right? So it's no surprise that Matthew Stafford is the favorite. Joe Burrow is at plus 230, Cooper Cup plus 560. Uh, how dicey is it though to place your money on anyone who isn't a QB? It is rather dicey based on recent trends. Four of the last five Super Bowl MVP winners have played the position of quarterback. Nine of the last 12 have been a QB. But if the LA Rams win, which is what the odds are indicating right now, a four and a half point favorite spread in Los Angeles' side. Who's to say it couldn't be Cooper Cup to win the Super Bowl MVP? And with the value as it stands at plus 560, that might be where I look to sprinkle a little bit of my money. Best you boy. All right, passing yard props for both quarterbacks are out. Stafford's over under is at 276 and a half. Joe Burrow slightly higher at 281 and a half. Do you lean either way on these? I would look more at Matthew Stafford. Joe Burrow has not gone over that number yet once in this postseason. He did that one time, 348 against the Tennessee Titans, but under that number throughout this postseason and in the regular season. Matthew Stafford, meanwhile, has gone over his passing yards prop the last two games for the Rams and gone over in a substantial way, more than 330 passing yards, both against the Bucks and last week against the Niners. If I was looking one area, it would be at Matthew Stafford going over his passing yards prop. This is why you're a fountain of information. All right, let's go to passing touchdowns. Matthew Stafford, minus 200 to throw under two and a half. Meanwhile, minus 162 for Burrow to throw over one and a half touchdowns. So, so cheeky here by the FanDuel Sportsbook. They're trying to entice you with that plus money on Matthew mm -hmm. Stafford to go over two and a half passing touchdowns. Something he did a considerable amount throughout the regular season. But so far in the postseason, Sierra, three games for the Rams, two passing touchdowns in each game. Now, Joe Burrow has gone over one and a half in two of the three for the Bengals. The only time he did not against the Tennessee Titans, but again, just two passing touchdowns against the Chiefs, two against the Raiders. They are moving those numbers right based on what we have seen so far in the playoffs. Tricky, tricky. I love that you broke that down too. And there are props that are really going to help you fill out, you know, your Super Bowl office party prop sheet. Those are my personal favorite. Throwing the first touchdown, no surprise, the Rams quarterback is the favorite, but uh, you actually have something later on in your best bets that I can't wait to touch on, but let's talk about these first. When you have a yes or no option, which is what these are basically saying, who throws what first? Is it Joe Burrow or is it Matthew Stafford? The plus money has to entice you. There's no value in betting a random event like the first quarterback out of the two to throw a touchdown at minus 300. Save your Super Bowl money 
for other more attractive bets that could pay you out a better return. All right, so coming up, more Super Bowl props. We're going to be back after a quick timeout. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, so props add drama to any game, right? But there's nothing quite like Super Bowl props. So let's get to one of the most popular props out there and bring back our betting bestie, Ben Stevens. All right, so the NFL's regular season receiver, the best one, Cooper Cup, over under is at 104. But is there another guy you are liking for receiving yards in Super Bowl 56? Sierra, who am I to say that 104 and a hook for Cooper Cup is too high? I don't think the FanDuel Sportsbook can make it high enough. He has gone over that number in the last two playoff games for the Rams, went over in 11 of 17. So I don't think it's the best bet, but I do like it. I look at Odell Beckham Jr., though, 63 and a half. He's gone over that in the last two for the Rams as well. His first time, Sierra, last week in the NFC title against San Francisco, breaking the century mark in receiving yards since October of 2019, OBJ has been a huge component of this Rams offense. Okay, so we touched on the receiving. Let's get to the rushing. Is there anyone here who catches your eye? Joe Burrow. What? Ooh. Joe Burrow, ben, the quarterback of the Bengals? Yes, Joe Burrow. He went over that number substantially against the Chiefs. And the Chiefs laid out the game plan, right? We saw the Titans sack Joe Burrow nine times. We know that he is going to be under duress, and that will be one of the narratives. Can the Bengals' shoddy offensive line stop Aaron Donald, Leonard Floyd, and Von Miller? I don't know. They're going to pressure Joe Burrow, which means he can escape the pocket. It's the last football game of the year. He's not sliding. He's not going out of bounds. I think he has the best value in that market to go over 11 and a half rushing yards. Oh, my gosh, I love that bet. Okay, so I am usually all about the anytime touchdown score there is no way. There's no way that Cooper Cup doesn't haul in a score in the Super Bowl, right? Are you going to pay minus 210, Sierra? Because uh, I don't think that's a great value it. bet. Uh, I don't know about that, but you're right. He has scored in every playoff game. He has scored in five straight. He has scored in eight of the last nine for the Rams. That's why every odd that is on Cooper Cup makes no sense. I would look more at Joe Burrow, excuse me, not Joe, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow's favorite target, Jamar Chase, he did find the end zone against Kansas City, 13 total receiving touchdowns in his rookie campaign. All right, so maybe I won't parlay it. Ben's telling me no. But coming up after the break, we are going to get his best bets of the week, and they are spicy. We're back after a quick timeout. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Okay, so we now get to the best part of the show because they're Ben's best bets of the week. So Ben, let's not waste any time. You got some picante this week. All right, so Stafford's first pass to be incomplete or intercepted. I'm obsessed with this and I love it even more because it's at plus 245. My man, you have digging up the gold. The credit here goes to your producer, Mark Malowich, Mally as he is known, because this is all his idea. The oddities, the off-the-wall bets you can make in the Super Bowl, <laughs> unlike you have on any given NFL Sunday. Here's the thing. When you have a yes or no option, and the no in this case has so much plus money, very sharp people, Sierra, in a desert not far away from you would say that if you have a yes, no option, and the no has plus money, Oftentimes, the no can cash. You're telling me that Matthew Stafford's pass doesn't get tipped or the wide receiver runs a bad route or there's just too much juice flowing and he overthrows it slightly? For plus 245, I like that number. Me too. Okay, so will there be a fourth quarter comeback? Ben, you're saying there's a chance. Plus 260 on this one. Has the FanDuel Sportsbook not watched the divisional round? Has the FanDuel Sportsbook <laughs> not watched the conference championships? Because we saw fourth quarter comebacks every uh -huh. single game, it felt like. So is there a chance that happens in the Super Bowl in a tightly contested game? I think so. And again, plus money. Okay, so receiving yards match bet. Ben, I'm not familiar with this one. So you are going to have to break it down for me. So again, it's the idea that we don't often have these things for any given NFL game, but you match up the yardage between Odell Beckham Jr. versus T. Higgins on the other side. Who has more receiving yards in the Super Bowl? Their yardage props are very similar, both hovering around the mid-60s. I think Odell Beckham Jr. at 
plus money yet again, has a better chance of going over his number and having more receiving yards than T. Higgins. Thus, at plus 125, bring me in, FanDuel Sportsbook. All the plus money I can have for Super Bowl 56. Ben, it's my understanding that you're going to be joining us from the Super Bowl next week. We can't wait for it. Okay, guys at home, don't forget to check the lines on your FanDuel app. Same time, same place next week. I'll be in Arizona. Ben's going to be at the Super Bowl. Until then, take it easy.